following segment is sponsored by the Utah Beef Council. Welcome everybody to the kitchen. Jacob with the Beef Council is joining me, showing us how to do two appetizers for the holiday, which I think are great. And yeah. What are we working this on? This one is very simple and easy. It's something you can make ahead of time and just keep warm in a slow cooker. Okay. These are some mini meatballs with huh. a dipping sauce. So the recipe calls for apricot dipping sauce, but you can use any kind of preserves. So today we're going to use blackberry preserves. What a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Very delicious. So we started with some extra lean ground beef, 96% mm -hmm. lean. Just a, a slightly uh, beaten egg, salt and pepper, and then some seasoned bread crumbs. So okay. just going to mix all that together lightly. You want to get it fully incorporated, but don't overmix the mixture there. You don't want to make them too tough. Okay. We're just going to mix that up, and then we're going to make about 24 or so So it really one depends inch on how large you want to make them. Yes, yes. It, I mean, you could, you could make a very large meatball, but that doesn't lend defeats well to appetizers. Kind of defeats yeah. the purpose, doesn't it? I mean, unless you only have guests of one. That's then <laughs> true. If it's just me, I'll just do that, right? <laughs> now, while you're working on that, you have created the sauce here, which was very easy to do. You have a prepared barbecue sauce in there, of course, your preserves. Mm -hmm. You chose to use blackberry today and some Dijon yep. mustard yep. in there. Bring that to a simmer and let it just simmer for a couple of minutes. It'll thicken up quite a right. bit. Thickens up. And then it's ready to go. Now, while you're doing that, Tell me what I have over here. So these are the fully cooked meatballs, and once okay. they're fully cooked, 18 or so minutes, just until they're done to about 160, and then okay. you pour, pour them in, you can just dump them can into the thickened in sauce. There. Yep. And then just you just toss them. Toss them, it'll keep them warm for a little while if you just need to hold them for a little bit, or you could transfer it to a slow cooker to hold for oh, several really hours. Good. It does, it smells delicious. Really good. I love that. So it's these just, are ready to go. This would be fun. You could have some toothpicks next to them yes. for the guests, and they're all ready done. Now, coming up here in just a second, we're going to show you when we come back how to put together a steak crostini, which I'm really excited to see that has a whipped horseradish. Now, if you're wondering what in the world that is, mm. and if you need an idea for an appetizer, well, join us here in just a little bit. Stick around. Yeah. All right. Thanks, mm -hmm. Chef Brian. Still coming up on 2 News at Noon. Nonprofit segment is sponsored by the Utah Beef Council. Well, let's finish up some of these holiday ideas with a steak crostini. What are you working on there, Jacob? Yeah, this is just a little bit of uh, heavy whipping cream that we've uh -huh. taken some horseradish here. And you've and already whipped it? Whipped it up, Kay. yep. So it's already whipped. And then we've just added some chives and horseradish. Mm -hmm. Just going to incorporate that as well as some Parmesan cheese. All right. So we put those in there, and that becomes the base for this. That's for the, the little that's the horseradish. Yes. Yeah. Just as it says. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> go figure. <laughs> and so then all we're going to do is take these these toasted uh, crostinis here and top them first with the whip. Okay. And then a nice slice of this strip steak that you cooked up so nicely. Well, I thank you very much. Yes. Is there a specific kind of steak they should use uh, for this? This is a New York strip, so, okay. so that, that's what the recipe calls for. You could use a tenderloin, and if you're feeling really flush, you could use uh, a, a tenderloin, or go for some sirloin. That would oh, work as yeah. well. So, yeah. so uh, any, any boneless steak, a tri right. So After this, so once we get that on there, what are we going to put on there, there? We are going to put on our slice of steak, mm -hmm. like so, and then just a little Arugula for ah. color. And if yeah. you're not familiar with arugula, arugula has a nice peppery overtone in it, and so that would go great yes. with these. Great I love with arugula. Those. I so love good. arugula. I actually love it too on pizza, believe it or not. Yes, that is very good <laughs> as well. It's really good. Well, while you're finishing up over there, Jacob, I've just tossed the rest of those meatballs that we made earlier in the sauce that you made. And we're kind of serving it just here. If you had a toothpick, you could put toothpicks by them. You could put them in a slow cooker. You could have a whole platter of these made up in advance. An easy way to do some delicious little holiday hors d'oeuvres yes. with beef. So thank you so much, Jacob. You're, you're doing welcome. a great job oh, there. You're too kind. I know. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> Head on over to KUTV.com or cookingwithchefbrian.com for the recipes. Okay. That uh, looks amazing.